Welcome to another SQL introduction video. This video is going to be covering the basics of importing Excel data into a table within your SQL management studio, uh, particularly uh, within a database of your choosing. Um, so I have went ahead and created a small, very, very small uh, set of data. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this data out of Excel um, put it into a CSV flat file, and then we're gonna take that flat file and import it into a table. There's many different ways you can extract data or ingest data into your database, um, but this is just one of many. So this is uh, covering a very simple, basic method. All right, so I'm gonna go into my Microsoft Excel sheet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this um, as we'll call it tab to limb. And under save as type here, your default may, may be Excel workbook, um, but you'll want to go down and actually choose CSV. The most common two that I use are text tab delimited and CSV comma delimited. All right, for today, we're going to choose CSV. We'll, we'll click uh, save. Here's that the file is already there. Um, we do want to keep the format, so click yes. I'm going to close out of this document. Um, so that it doesn't cause any trouble when SQL Studio uh, determine or tries to access that flat file and it'll think it's still open. All right. All right, now go into your SQL Studio. Uh, choose the database in which the table exists. Um, I don't know if, if you're gonna be wanting to put this data into an existing table. For today's example, we're gonna you know, create a new table. So I'm gonna right click on the database, my database called prod. Uh, you'll go down to task. Go down to import data and this is going to open up the import export wizard so we'll hit next for data source we're going to choose flat file source all right and then we're going to browse to go find that file so these are some text files i'm going to choose a csv we'll click open all right and let's preview some of our data oftentimes if you have a larger data set this is only going to bring in maybe the top thousand so it's a it's always encouraged to go under this columns tab on the left hand side here to kind of take a preview to make sure there's nothing, uh, no other delimiters or no other uh, objects that are um, not being interpreted correctly by the wizard. Uh, so I typically will start with general. I'll make sure uh, the column names in the first data row is checked. Uh, check my columns, um, advance. This will, this, I'll go over this in a couple of future videos um, where this is very important on the length size, especially when you're inserting data to an existing table uh, because of the length or character length of particular attributes or columns in your table may cause import issues. Um, but for today, it looks like everything's looking clean. Good. We're going to hit next. We're going to choose a destination. We're going to choose SQL Server Native Client. And we've got defaulted my, my server here. All right, and we're gonna choose the database. So I'm choosing prod. All right, hit next. Um, this is where you'll want to name the table. So we'll call this uh, a CSV import test. And then edit mappings. Uh, for the, for today's example, we don't need to go over any of this, but this is also a pretty important screen. All right, we'll hit next. Uh, we'll hit next. Uh, we'll, we'll go over the creating packages in the future. Go ahead and hit finish. All right, we've got our five rows. So let's go ahead and close the wizard. Looks like everything's successful. I'm going to hit refresh on my um, database here. All right, I'm going to go check check for the table. I'm going to right click it, go ahead and select into it. And voila. All right. I hope that was simple enough. Uh, in the future, we'll go over a little bit more advanced um, import methods uh, to get data into your SQL database. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, leave them below and enjoy your day.